Hi everybody, Dave Sullivan here for the Credit Guy TV. This week I want to talk about credit scores and what I believe is the deliberate confusion about credit scores from the repositories. And what you need to know about credit scores is that in the 80s, FICO started to become more widely accepted as a predictor of uh, default on loans. And as more and more people started to use them, the repositories saw that FICO was making a lot of money on their data. So what they all did individually was go out and create similar credit scores in range and score value to FICO. And the problem with that was they just couldn't get the um, acceptance in the lending community that FICO was getting. So what they decided to do was come together and form one company, and that company's called Vantage. And they're already on the Vantage 2.0 score. Um, but the range on FICO is 300 to 850. And the range on Vantage is 501 to 990. So even if you go to, out to annualcreditreport.com, you're going to wind up, if you buy a score from there, with a Vantage score. And the problem with a Vantage score is, if you could have a 700 Vantage score and then wind up with a 500 FICO score. And the FICO score is the one that the mortgage lenders are going to use. So there's really no reason to go out and order your credit score from the annualcreditreport.com site. I would tell you just to go ahead and get your free credit report and then go over to the FICO score estimator and plug in the information and then you can get an approximation of the, the FICO score that you have. But I believe that, that the reason the scoring ranges overlap was to kind of create some confusion and then take away some of the, um, the, the uh, industry knowledge or um, desire for FICO by confusing the issue. All right, so, do no, so be very careful. You know, I get a lot of calls from, from clients who have borrowers that said, yeah, they pulled their own credit score, and it's in the 800s, and I pulled it, and it was in the 600s. The reason for that is they were getting a Vantage score, and the mortgage broker uses the FICO score. So always remember that. Look at the fine print. If you're a consumer and you go out to try and get your credit report, or if you're a loan officer and somebody calls you and they tell you they have an 800 FICO score, it's probably not a FICO score. It's more than likely a Vantage score. And even, so if they tell you that they have all three of their scores, a consumer, is not a FICO score because there's no way really for them to get that right now. Even if they went to my FICO and ordered their FICO scores from there, they can't get all three of them from my FICO. But if the consumer wanted to go out and pay for them, that's where I'd tell them to go. Go to myfico.com and order one of the two that are available. And then you'll get a real FICO score. All right, and that's the only way to get it. So be very careful. Vantage versus FICO, there's some differences. If, and, and this is a lot of the confusion around credit scores is caused by this. So I hope that helps. And you, with a little bit of me, we're going to change the credit industry. Thank you.